Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rants, powered by Come On Now, the podcast where we practice facts over feelings. I got a rant for you tonight, and I am absolutely freaking agitated and pissed off. And I'm going to tell you why, and you can see it across the bottom of your screen. I'm sick and tired of the god darn disrespect that is given towards Caitlin Clark by the freaking WNBA and their shit turd freaking media members. They have no damn clue, and I'm so sick and tired of it. Before we jump in, thank you to our continued support, for your continued support of our channel, and the people who continue to prop us up, like our videos, share our videos, comment. The comments are the lifeblood of our videos. So I don't care if you say three words, drop a comment. I appreciate you. Let's jump on in on the topic at hand. Caitlin Clark, officially named first team all WNBA today. I don't know where I was. I thought she already got named first team all WNBA, but I guess maybe that was the AP version. I, I, I have no idea. This this the way this league runs, it's utterly comical. You never hear the 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 you know anything mentioned about an AP all NBA team. But in the WNBA, you have an AP team, you have a WNBA team. No one knows what the fuck the difference is. We don't know who votes for what. Who actually cares? Holy Lord. But they dropped the team today. And again, NBA, I, I never hear about them being multiple first teams. Like I, I, I've never heard that before, and I've watched the NBA for my entire life. And when they dropped the all-NBA team, it's the all-NBA team. But apparently, again, I could have swore I saw somewhere, and maybe I'm crazy. I already thought that the, the first team, the, the all-NBA teams were named. But it seems like maybe they were only done for the AP. I have no idea. But I'm going to jump on on this crap because this pisses me off thoroughly. Are you serious, members of the media? Are you serious? Thank God there's 52 people with a brain. Because there's 15, one in particular, who has no brains and should not have a vote. And they should make these votes public. The same way the vote for Rookie of the Year should have been made public. The same way the votes for MVP should be made public to expose people who have a problem with Caitlin Clark. Let me repeat. Make stuff public because there are writers in the WNBA who have a problem with Caitlin Clark. 66 people vote her Rookie of the Year. One vote for Angel Reese. One person did not vote her. Actually, was it one or was it more than one? Hold on a second. Let me check. Let me verify. So I confirmed it. Caitlin Clark, for MVP, was on 54 of 67 ballots. So there were 13 utter buffoons who did not have her in the top five for WNBA MVP. I'm going to presume, because it's a logical presumption, since there seems to be 67 voters for MVP, 67 for Rookie of the Year, 67 for Defensive Player of the Year, and now 67 for all MB, all WNBA first team, second team, etc. Explain to me how between the voting of MVP, for which she was on 54 ballots, which is top five, that she's only on 52 ballots for first team all WNBA. What happened to the two voters who changed their mind? What what happened? So she was good enough to be MVP, but she's not good enough to be first team? I'm so confused. It doesn't make sense because you're the same people voting for the different awards. There's not 67 different people voting. It's the same damn people voting. Unless you can tell me something different, it's the same people voting. So you have Kaylin Clark now left off of a ballot for even second team. So there is a person in the WNBA voting ranks who doesn't think that Kaylin Clark is even a top 10 
player in the WNBA. Is this a joke? Who is this? Who, who is this? Who is so delusional and so filled with hate that you would leave her off of not just the first team, but the second team as well? For real? Let's share a screen with you. As you can see, you have Collier and Fisa Collier and Asia Wilson are unanimous, 67 votes. Brianna Astor gets 65 and, it's, and two second place votes, which honestly I think is ridiculous as well. She should have all 67. You're not going to sit here and tell me that uh, Sabrina, Kalia, Cooper, uh, Neka Ogumake, Arika Ogumboal, and John Cole Jones should have a first place vote over Brianna Stewart. Like, that's asinine. It's asinine. Caitlin Clark being left off of a ballot is beyond me. There's actually someone who put Sabrina Ionescu on 15 first team votes and Neka Agumake on 15, on 11 first team votes. First of all, I guess we don't have positions in basketball anymore because Caitlin is the only guard on this list. So they were potentially going to put a bunch of power forwards because that's what this is. Alyssa Thomas is a power forward who plays point guard. Brianna Stewart is a power forward. Asia Wilson is a center. Nafisa Collier is a power forward. This is a power forward list with one guard. What happened to actually having people play positions? And I know the NBA is in the same bull crap where we're running away from positions and we're doing it as I know at one point it was guard, two guards, three, 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 three posts, three forwards and centers, which basically can eliminate a center if you don't have a center that's good enough that year. But that's not happening anytime soon since you have a uh, you know Jokic and Embiid who will always at least be on first team more than likely. I mean, it'd be shocking if they weren't. But we've left positions. Positions don't exist. We're going to put power forwards and make this a power forward center first team. And you're going to tell me that Neka Agumake was better than Caitlin Clark? Are you out of your mother freaking mind? Neka Agumake is better than Caitlin Clark. Obviously, obviously in this situation, someone got those 15 first team votes that Caitlin Clark did not get. I'm going to venture to guess it was probably either Sabrina or Neca. I cannot imagine that someone truly believes that Arike Ogumbawale was better than Caitlin Clark. I refuse to believe that someone thought that Ka Copper was better than Caitlin Clark. I, I, I am flabbergasted by this crap. Congratulations, Caitlin. They tried to fuck you again. You have earned, you, you should go down and you should get an SB, an SB for a player who has done so much for a shit turd embarrassment of a freaking league. And I forgot what the rest I was going to say. I'm sorry. Congratulations for doing so much for an embarrassment shit turd of a league who continues to insult you degrade you, dismiss you, and act like you don't matter, even though you're the only reason 90% of the people who are watching today are watching the game. Even in the WNBA Finals, Game 3 just ended tonight, and now the Liberty are up 2-1 in a game that I thought was utterly fucking horrendous. The amount of missed layups I saw from Kayla McBride from Collier, from Hines Allen, from Stewart. I mean, the layup missed drill. How many times do I see the ball hit a player's hand and they don't 
grab the rebound. They somehow fling it over their hand and throw it out of bounds. Holy freaking cannoli. That game was utter garbage. But people will say it was so exciting. The game was 71-69 for like four minutes in the fourth quarter. Four minutes. Layup after layup after layup. Nafisa Collier is on this list. Let me tell you, Nafisa Collier missed more easy bunnies than I've ever seen from her, from her miss. She choked her ever-loving ass off. And Brianna Stewart went off in the third quarter. And in the fourth quarter, kind of disappeared. Turned missing bunnies again. As she was giving a beeline to the free throw line. Caitlin Clark has earned the award of the most disrespected player in this league. You cannot tell me that this is mean, this is not insane. She's not a top 10 player in the WNBA. She's not on every ballot for first team. What in the world would make you think that? I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, they told us that record mattered, right? I could have swore I heard that somewhere. Monica McNutt said that dumb shit. Carolyn Peck said that dumb shit. Guess what? Caitlin Clark finished with a better record than Ka Copper and Enrique Agumbawale, the two guards who got four and four. And Sabrina Ionescu, I'm sorry, Sabrina Ionescu is not even the best player on her team. She's not even the best player on her team. So you have three members of the New York Liberty on first and second team. All WNBA. Wow. And then, don't give me this part right here, where I show you this screen, where they also, thankfully, this got fixed. But earlier today, my boy, Ben Daniel, if you don't know who he is, go check him out. Subscribe to him, Ben Daniel Podcast. He posted a video showing this logo right here for Asia Wilson. I don't know why it's not showing, but Asia Wilson's logo had LA Sparks. I guess they changed it. Caitlin Clark, they spelled her name wrong. C-A-I-L-T-I-N. I guess they fixed it, thankfully. But you have mongoloids that work at the WNBA who can't even do a simple graphic without errors. It's a shit show. It's a certifiable shit show. For Caitlin Clark to have received 54 votes for WNBA MVP, to not receive 54 votes, for WNBA first team doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And you are not going to tell me that this This right here, you're not going to tell me that this, this is better than this. You're not going to tell me that it is. I I, I mean, it's ridiculous. It is utterly ridiculous. It's so bad. These people hate her. These people will find any reason to knock her down. They live for it. And it's an embarrassment. 
it's an utter, utter embarrassment. Let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear what you think about this. Congratulations, Caitlin. You earned you earned first team. Thank God there are 52 people with a brain. Because there's 14 people that I question their brain, and I, there's one who has absolutely no brain. And they need to expose the voters, and they need to make their votes public, who they put above who. I, I We have got to get to that point. Because there's no more hiding behind a wall. There's no more hiding behind some wall. We need to know who you voted for because you are being you're being charged with having a process of integrity and there's no integrity in the WNBA voting process. There was none in the rookie of the year process, clearly none in the MVP process because there's no way in hell Asia Wilson should have been a unanimous MVP. No way in hell. You want to base stuff on just sheer, sheer stats? Because she had a 27 and 12 season while her team got worse from last year. Sorry, that doesn't make you better. In fact, Brianna Stewart's numbers got worse, who won last year, and her team got better. Her team is playing for the championship. And I am not a Brianna Stewart fan. Trust me when I say that. I am not. Actually, they have the exact same record. <laughs> they have the exact same record. But you know what? They're the best team in the league this year. And you know what got better for them? And I will say they got better. Because you know what got better? And what's the difference between winning and losing in professional sports, especially in basketball and football? Defense. Their defense got five points better. That's why they're playing still. And that's why they're probably going to win the championship because their defense got exponentially better. And at the end of the day, defense wins championships. And although I picked them, I picked, I want the Minnesota Lynx to win. I, I think that the Lynx gave their season. I think they gave it away tonight. They gifted it away. If you saw the game, you should know what I'm talking about. All that said, let me know your thoughts in the comments on this topic. I am so disgusted. I'm in, I, I, I am, I'm sick to my stomach. The WNBA is just a shit show. And I, I've had, I've had it. I've, I've, I've had it. I've had it. It's enough. Enough already. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to pound that uh, like button. Hit that bell. Be sure to subscribe. Again, come on now. The podcast on YouTube. Subscribe here. And, of course, go over to Ruse Rant as I'm dropping other content over there. Subscribe there as well. I appreciate you. Love you. Facts over feelings, baby. Let's go.